Hey, my name is Carl Sorensen, and I play with Dragon Deer, Chimney Choir, and Zach Hackendorf, and a slew of other bands around town. And I'm happy to be here at the Open Air Performance Studio.
welcome to Open Air Live and Local. I'm your host this evening, Alicia Sweeney. Each week we team up with Channel 12 to take you into our performance studio and give you a look at what it's like to produce state-of-the-art radio recordings. Tonight, get to know Denver drummer Carl Sorensen. Sorensen is a Colorado native who studied drum performance at Berklee College of Music in Boston, but left before graduating to put his education into practice. During his two years there, Carl studied directly with Paul Simon's percussionist, Jamie Haddad. But in the summer of 2007, everything changed. While he was back home in Denver, he fell in love with the local music scene. And fast forward to now, we invited Carl in for a one-on-one -on -one interview where he revealed to us how many bands he estimates he's been in since moving to Denver full-time. The amount of bands that I've played with, uh, I think Westward quoted me like a couple years back saying you know, like 65 or 70 or something like that and so it's been a couple years since then so I'd maybe estimate like a hundred or so you know plus or minus give or take um, different ensembles. And this isn't an exaggeration it's become a joke here in the open air performance studio at how many times Carl has drummed here. In fact he's played here the most out of any musician since we launched in 2011. So what is it about playing music in Denver? Sorensen says he saw the supportive music scene and potential to play out live nearly every night as a way to hone the skills that he had learned while at Berkeley. Coming up soon, Carl will walk us through some of the varying drum techniques that he employs to match each band that he plays with and their unique sound. And now I want to know what does a trash can lid, a wine bottle, bike seat, chains, a few shakers, and cowbell have in common? Well, they're all pieces of Carl's unique percussion setup. Check them out as he performs the track Motion with Chimney Choir. Dancing 
next to me. I've got the secret recipe underneath the stone, down in the lonely catacomb. Sit right next to me. I've got the secret recipe underneath the stone, down in the lonely catacomb. Sit right next to me. I've got the secret recipe underneath the stone, down in the lonely catacomb. This is Open Air Live and Local, and we are showcasing just some of the bands that Denver-based drummer Carl Sorensen has performed with in our studio. That was Chimney Choir with Motion. Carl was drawn back to Denver because he saw the city's music scene as an open canvas. It makes him feel empowered to be creative and not have to subscribe to one particular genre of music. The three main groups that Sorensen performs with are all different genres, folk, blues, and pop. In order to keep up with all the songs he plays with each project, the drummer scribbles into a notebook to keep track. He says a lot of it is writing down ideas for each groove and then assigning them nicknames. Here, he'll demonstrate the jungle groove. Well, I don't really do the drum and bass thing a whole lot, although that, that stuff's cool. Um, I mean, playing with yeah, all, all three of those bands, Zach, Dragon Deer, and Shimmy Choir, right? I do love using like a, you know, kind of floor tom or just tom driven sort of beat. So here's a beat that I use with Dragon Deer. Um, um, and, uh, and then a groove that I use with Zach. There's a cover song that we do that kind of has like a cumbia kind of feel. Really love that deep floor tom, and then uh, with uh, with chimney choir, there's one of the songs kind of goes to a quick like my inspiration comes from like a Brazilian samba kind of beat, um, and in in that kind of music, they they really like to lay on the the back beat like. A Yeah, so there, there's kind of, you know, in each of three of those projects, sort of a similar idea or concept that, you know, that can get spread around and become specific in different ways. So. so let's get into another video recorded in our studio. Carl performing some of that cumbia sound with Zach Heckendorf. He and the band had a landmark summer 2016 being selected as one of the few local acts to perform at a new Colorado music festival, Vertex. He also had a huge performance at one of the country's biggest festivals, Bonnaroo. Here's Take Time on Open Air Live and Local. Be 
I've been closing my eyes to see All the places I'd rather be Cause we belong in fields of wildflowers Like I'm chasing someone holy gray. Cause we belong to a wild, untethered wing. With our fates 
Like feathers weathering Whatever is up ahead It's telling everyone we're leaving It's vanished for no reason I heard there was bad breathing I dare in the wild and free Cause there is a child This is Open Air Live and Local with a spotlight on Denver drummer Carl Sorensen. Over the last year, he was recruited to be a part of the band Covenhoven, and that was the group with The Wild and Free. Out of the estimated 100 bands that Carl has performed in, there are three projects that he commits to full-time, Zach Heckendorf, Chimney Choir, and Dragon Deer. Here, Dragon Deer frontman Eric Halberg joins Carl to demonstrate the early stages of what it's like to create a song together. That's going to do it for tonight's Live and Local with Carl Sorensen. It's the collaborative spirit of the local music scene that makes Denver so unique. Such as the case with Carl in our studio is a special place for musicians like him to gather. This show is brought to you through a partnership between Colorado Public Radio and Colorado Public Television. I'm Alicia Sweeney. Continue to go deeper into the local music and beyond with us by tuning into Open Air on the radio at 102.3 FM Denver Boulder, 88.3 in Fort Collins, and online at openaircpr.org. Thanks to CPT12 for their support of the local music scene and this program, Open Air, live and local. <laughs>